I'm now sitting next to the Voyagers. Gentlemen, can you introduce yourselves, please? Hi, my name is Luke, and I'm the producing part of the Voyagers. And sitting next to me is Yannick. I'm Yannick, and I'm the <laughs> stage animal of the Voyagers. The stage animal, how come? On stage animal, on stage party animal. That's your... My favorite thing to do, yes. Yeah, okay, good. How um, did you start as a duo? duo? Oh, that was really long ago. Um, I believe I heard one of uh, Yannick's mixtapes, and he was uh, he, he put out a mixtape with UK Garage tracks on it. And I've never ever heard UK Garage before hearing his mixtape, so I got into contact with him to learn about that genre of music. And we clicked, and we started working together, and it really worked out. So we kept on going. So it's been like five or four or five years now, I think. Four and a half. Four and a half. We had a party of a mutual friend. And I was on the lineup and he didn't, he wasn't. So we decided to go back to back, which we didn't end up doing at the party, but we had hang, hung out in the studio, made a track. The next time we hung out together, we made another track. And uh, now we're here. And so on. Basically. Why the Voyagers? Uh, how come up with this name? Um, well, we both have a really deep love for Daft Punk and also disco music, because we used to produce actually uh, disco music. And uh, one of our favorite keyboards uh, was the, uh, the Mook Voyager. And also one of our favorite tracks by Daft Punk was Voyager. So we came up with the Voyagers, because there's two of us, we like to travel a lot, we like the keyboard, we like the track, so it fit our name. Okay, good. Was it always a dream of you to be a DJ? Not for me. I started out like 11 years ago when nobody did it, and I just wanted to mix two vinyls together and I kept on doing that and after a while I discovered you know going to parties being asked to play somewhere and that was really cool so then it became a dream okay can you tell something about your style about your sound uh, yeah, currently we're mixing up a little bit of Future House with it with Bass House because uh, we are moving more towards the Bass House kind of feel which is like uh, AC Slater or um, uh, Chris Lorenzo or Il Phil, we really like that type of music. Uh, we got a couple of remixes coming out real soon in the Bass House genre, so that's pretty much our thing right now. And we like to mix it up with a little bit of trap music, a little bit of, what, hard, a bit of harder house music, so we try to mix things up. How was it like to play on on uh, Latin Village? Really cool. We had a closed stage. It's not an open valley stage like the main stage or some of the other stages. So you have a kind of club feeling in a festival setting. It was really cool. What's your favorite track at the moment? From us or just any track? What 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 you prefer? Uh, what you produced or just in general? I don't know. Oh, What's your favorite track at the moment? Oh, you have him? Oh, tell me. It's the new Calvin Harris and Dylan Francis track, which I think comes out in like a month or something. I don't know. But, but you already know. I, uh, you, you can you can hear it online already. It's awesome. It's really really. Uh, Calvin Harris has this, you know, this Calvin Harris formula, which always sounds amazing. And Dylan Francis is the, the I think it's, it's more 110, so it's more Mumbaton, Mumbaton, but it's the ballsiness of Dylan Francis. So it's really cool. That's my favorite. I what you, oh, you figured. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Let me know. Yeah, it's totally not, not our style, but um, it's Avicii with Waiting for Love. Because I really, really love the chord progression in combination with the vocal and the second, uh, the pre chorus bit. Those chords with the vocal are just another level. It's just a complete new level. It's just so amazing. Every time I hear it on the radio, I turn that shit up. <laughs> I love that track. I get that. I totally get it. How is your agenda look like? Where are you tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, uh, next weekend? We have studio sessions the entire week, I think. Or two or three, or something. I don't know. Studio sessions, something with studio and studio with Shermanology. Uh, we have a show next. Shermanology? Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, Shermanology, we and Shermanology share the same label, Spinning Records. And he goes back also from way back, like 10 years ago. So if you... You, you've seen him, you cannot not see him. So you get in touch and he's a really cool guy. We had a studio session, I think, uh, a year ago. And we're doing one uh, this week also. And we're playing with uh, Le Youth from the USA and Girls of DJs and another few friends in Amsterdam next weekend. Nice, nice. What would you be if you weren't a DJ? 
Hard question. No, that's an easy. Oh question. no, an easy. Oh, oh, let me yeah, know. Let me know. Yeah. I'd be a teacher, and I'm actually. Um, I used to uh, study as a history teacher, and I really loved teaching other people. So right now I'm combining my my profession as a DJ and a producer because I'm also teaching others about producing music on YouTube and several schools in Holland. And I would love to do that if I weren't be doing this. Ah, uh, nice, nice. What's the first thing that pops into your mind when I say Indonesia? Food. Spot on, right? It was fast, eh? It was fast, I know. Okay. And what about you? Yeah, food. <laughs> I just love it. Uh, okay. Everybody says food. Besides food, then. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. One more. And it's uh, Carl Pilkinson. Uh, you know, from Idiot Abroad. Yeah. When he went on the Ganges River, and he saw all the bodies floating around. Oh. I okay. just want to see things and rice fields and see more things and temples and, and see temples. food, food, food everywhere, food. Oh, and I want to sit in a boat where you can see the turtles, you know, swimming beneath you. That's what I want to do. That's it. Any tips for upcoming DJs? Don't promote your stuff on other people's tracks on comments. <laughs> stop doing that, please. That'll, it, it'll be a much better place for you if you stop doing that. <laughs> Loud and clear. I think that if you if you make good music, you will get noticed. Sooner or later, you will get noticed. But you have to have, like meet the right people. Because something I always tell people uh, that I'm teaching is that the the biggest part of becoming successful as a musician is having a great network of, of people you know and who can help you further your career. Uh, you, you, I know there's like there's probably a thousand guys. Uh, better than us at producing or even other guys that are on the top level uh, DJs but they haven't got the, the same network so that's the main thing work on your network what's a no-go for a DJ behind the decks playing a record uh, the DJ you know the DJ after or before you will play and that can also mean playing his or her record before you or you know that's a uh, that's there are a lot of no-goes, but that's like the <laughs> ultimate no-go of no-goes. And... Well, I was kind of, kind of thinking the same thing. So I've had one instance where it was just me. Uh, I was doing a little showcase uh, for a school I was at. And there were a couple of students who uh, were going before me. And they thought it would be like a really fun homage to, uh, homage to me um, to play every single track I've ever produced. So, wow! Yeah, so I, I had nothing left anymore. <laughs> okay, um, I've, I've done it one time. Uh, I only noticed it later when I was playing also solo. And I asked him in the break if he didn't mind that I play a track of his that was like 10 years old or something. That's, that's a no difference. But it's, it's a no-go. Just don't. Do you want to say something to our Asian viewers? I'd love to come visit you guys soon <laughs> and eat your delicious food. <laughs> That's sh short but very loud and clear. That we would love to come party and eat food. <laughs> no, party and food. <laughs> this was the Voyagers for DJ Mac Indonesia. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us.